retinopathy of prematurity earlier it was also known as retrolentor fibroplasia retrolentor fibroplasia so this is a bilateral proliferative disorder of the retina bilateral proliferative disorder of the retina which is usually associated with three cause that is suppose that there is a preterm birth preterm birth or no gestational age birth and the other is uh, excessive supplementation of the oxygen supply O2 supply is excess and what is the pathogenesis behind the retro, uh, retinopathy of prematurity usually you should know that the up to 4 months of age uh, 4 months of gestational age there is no any vasculature developed in the uh, eye but after 4 months the hyoid, uh, hyoid vessels of the, from the optic disc uh, starts to migrate and this migration is influenced by vasculo endothelial growth factor this is responsible for the migration and uh, again in the 8th month of gestation usually the nozzle blood vessels nozzle blood vessels are developed but yet the temporal are not developed now after one month of age after birth ka one month later the mm, temporal region blood vessel temporal region ka blood vessel develop hota hai dekhi then what we did here that uh, suppose that this uh, excessive o2 supplementation is uh, done in this time period in this time period then it uh, then the migration is uh, affected means there will be no migration and as a result the vasculature do not develops uh, o2 supplementation ho gaya. next was the cause preterm birth as we saw that the uh, temporal and the nozzle was developing in the eighth to one month after the birth uh, here is uh, suppose that preterm baby ka birth ho gaya then it is obvious that the vasculature has not yet developed and the other could be low gestational age low gestational he is not uh, again the vascular endothelial growth factor plays here so o2 supplementation causes uh, decrease in the activity of the vascular endothelial growth factor as a result uh, the vessel do not develop this was the pathogenesis behind this now coming to the clinical feature uh, clinical feature is usually uh, there are uh, two types of re uh, retinopathy of prematurity in which one is the active active type and the other is the cicatricial uh, type active and cicatricial type the most common is the active type so we will uh, uh, divide the uh, stages of the active type look uh, l r f p t if you can remember this, then this will be easy for you to remember the stage. L means, uh, first of all, in the early stage you will see a line that is parallel to the ura sarata. Then this line converts into ridge. The same line uh, converts into ridge in second stage. Then fibrovascular uh, proliferation is seen. Fibrovascular proliferation and then the detachment start initially this was the stage one stage two stage three now in four the detachment is partial type of detachment partial type of detachment which uh, do not involve the macula partial type of retinal detachment retinal detachment hota hai, but do not involve the macula and at last there is total detachment LRFPD, line, ridge, fibrovascular proliferation, partial detachment and total detachment, total retinal detachment. So line was usually parallel to the ura sarata, ura sarata se parallel ek line jasa dikta hai, then the line converts into ridge, then fibrovascular proliferation can be seen, partial detachment do not include macula, without macula and here, the macula along with the whole retina is detached so total retinal detachment now we will divide the zones in the uh, retinopathy of prematurity look uh, suppose that this hole is the retina and this portion is the ura sanata region this region is 
ora sarata and here is macula and this one was optic disc look then we will uh, draw a circle uh, a circle uh, whose radius will be double than the radius of this distance between macula and ora sarata ye ho gaya aapka macula and this is the uh, sorry this is macula and this is optic disc to iska jo radius tha we will make double radius to this portion so this is zone one and then coming to the from ora sarata we will make uh, double radius ka ek dusra um, circle matlab ki we have made uh, radius this radius is double suppose that this is x then this is 2x and this will be 4x and you should know that this region is ora sarata ora sarata this is zone 1 this first circle is zone 1 and the second circle is zone 2 and the remaining all the portion um, which is left behind after the zone 2 is known as zone 3 of the retinopathy of the maturity now uh, we have talked about the uh, zones and the stages now we will uh, see the treatment modality treatment is usually done according to the stages of the retinopathy of the maturity look this two stages first two stages uh, has spontaneous regression so do not need any uh, Uh, treatment but after that uh, 3 and 4 usually needs uh, surgical intervention that is um, look 3 has a uh, different type means th uh, agar third stage mein progress ho gaya hai then we have to give cryo and laser therapy cryo and laser therapy is laser therapy is preferred but fourth and fifth you have to undergo surgical treatment that is either uh, lens sparing vitrectomy sparing vitrectomy is done or complete vitrectomy so uh, this was the treatment and along with cryo and laser therapy all are done so Uh, you have knew that the above two stages do not need any intervention. Third, you have to do laser or cryo, and fourth and fifth need surgical intervention. That is, uh, lens sparing vitrectomy or vitrectomy along with cryo and laser therapy. And uh, for uh, if a child is born low gestational weight or uh, any preterm child, they should be screened regularly for the retrolentor fibroplasia or retinopathy of prematurity. Okay, this was all for uh, ROP. Thank you.